Let's talk about Halloween Resurrection. This film was directed by Rick Rosenthal just as the second Halloween was. It was released in July 12th of 2002 and it has a runtime of 89 minutes. Basically the entire first 15 minutes of this film is this guy in a clown costume that's obsessed with serial killers basically just jump scares a security guard. Then Michael Myers kills these two security guards and then kills off Laurie Strode. And this guy in the clown costume gets a knife from Michael Myers and then he stands up and gives exposition as he walks away. Like he literally talks like a robot. Michael Myers was born in October 19th of 1957 and he killed off three teenagers in 1978. He literally talks like that, like a robot. Not even like a real character and they give him screen time purely for exposition and a false jump scare that was it so basically it follows by showing these three teenagers who get invited through email to come onto this show where they explore michael myers's house with a small camera over their ears and as they are reading the email that in inviting them to the show there's a guy that just walks in without even knocking and he just talks about how dangerous it is to go onto the show and to explore Michael Myers' house. But literally sniffs their panties in the process. Oh, it's so dangerous to go to that house. Michael Myers is such a scary killer. He picked up a knife and never <laughs> put it down again. This film literally has some of the horniest teenagers I've ever seen in a slasher film. Even being compared to the teenagers in the Friday the 13th franchise. These teenagers literally, the first thing they think of as they enter this house is how they want to have sex. There's even one guy that spends the entire try time looking for ways to sexually harass this teenage girl. Like he'll zoom in on her tits with his camera or he'll like, he'll grab her ass on the stairs. It was out of her control. But honestly, Harvey Weinstein is credited in this film. So why am I surprised? And the one person who was supposed to be watching the cameras and making sure everything was going out alright, Tyra Banks, she literally makes coffee and dances to an EDM song, like completely oblivious to what's going on in the camera, like someone's body being dragged across the room within camera view, she's just ignoring it, like until right until the moment where the body is gone. That's just so unrealistic and it's way too convenient for Michael Myers. The whole film would have been over if she had just saw the camera as the body was being dragged across. This film was littered with false jump scares that were extremely excessive and annoying and completely unnecessary. Even the scares where there was something you were supposed to be terrified of, they put the least amount of effort into you, or they used a really bad slow motion edit accompanied by a really bad musical score. If they really wanted to make this a scary tone, then they should have had better editing, and they should have used the same musical score that the original Halloween had, or Halloween 2 had. Either of those would have been better. This film, all around, was an extreme disappointment. The only character that I even remotely liked was Buster Rhymes. Not because he was good at acting, or because he was a well-developed character. No, because he was the perfect source of unintentionally hilarious moments. There's two times where he would literally karate chop Michael Myers, once where it would make him fall out of a window, and even a moment where he would dress up as Michael Myers and actually try and scare people inside this house to make some activity for this so-called reality show. All around, this was a terrible Halloween sequel. The only character that was even remotely interesting was Busta Rhymes. And the moments where they try the hardest to be scary are the most unintentionally hilarious moments of the film. This film didn't have anything good going for it besides the humor. I'm giving Halloween Resurrection oh, a 5 out of 10. But as always, I hope you enjoyed this review. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next video.